is my situation. Uh, my son is doing a college sport, as you know, he's a freshman. And, um, as part of, you know, doing the sport, they decided to have tailgates for all the parents before the game. So the first game they had, you know, an email went out to all the parents, we're going to have tailgates. And please come, bring a food, we'll all be here. So I went to the first game with my parents, and it was raining. And secretly, I was so happy because I didn't have to go meet new people, which is really unlike me in some situations. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't feel like meeting anyone new. And it was raining. I'm like, oh, yay, we have a pass today. So that was week one. Went and sat in the stands in the rain and enjoyed myself with my parents. Actually, and the good thing was I did have two friends from our hometown whose kids were also playing on the team. So I had a couple and another dad. I'm like, I've got my people. I don't need any more people. I don't need any more people. And so we watched the game. Week two came and another email came out. We're going to have our big tailgate. Hope you all join us. So I'm driving the game with my dad. And I said to him, I have no desire to meet anyone new. Like, I just want to go sit in the stands with my, you know, family, three people that I know and my dad and just watch a game. Like, I don't have the energy. I just don't have the desire. And so we... I had, had plans to meet the two people that I knew at the tailgate, so we met, and we're going back and forth. Should we walk over by the group? It was kind of spread out. People had all their own little tailgates going on, and then we were kind of both like, I don't know, it'll probably feel awkward. You know, there's this, you're going to walk up to one group you don't know, or the next group you don't know, like, hey, I'm a freshman. And so we kind of were just hanging out talking, and then this cute little lady walks by with some food and sunglasses, and before I knew it, the words came out of my mouth. Hey, are you a freshman mom? I'm like, oh shit, what did I just do? I don't remember, I don't want to meet anybody, I don't need any new friends. And so I, um, <laughs> when they came out of my mouth and she turns around and she's like, yes. I'm like, great, I'm gonna meet new people. And so she had, so we had our group of, you know, families we knew and she had a group of people that she knew when they were all tailgating. So she had like, I think she had three families, we had three families. And we went over and we started talking, you know, like, it's almost like, I mean, I guess I didn't have enough empathy when my kids would go off to college because it's like a mini microcosm, like, exp you know, going through the gym. Oh, where are you from? What position did your son play? Do you have other kids? Blah, blah, blah. So that was tailgate one. And... By the end of it, they were like, oh yeah, we should just keep doing a freshman tailgate. And it was funny because, you know, we all like, like barely knew each other. We probably spent an hour together and we're like, all right, let's just do this. We'll do a freshman tailgate. And I wonder if any of us were like, oh yes, we're going to do a freshman tailgate or all like, this is what we should do. But so we, so we decided we would have a freshman tailgate and we were going to go try and collect other freshman parents in case they wanted to be part of our tailgate. So at the game, if we saw any freshman people, we were like, are you a freshman mom or dad? Let me add it to our list. So then week two rolls around, and I was in charge of the group text because I'm kind of an organizer, and I kind of forgot. And so one of the other moms um, put out the text like, uh, are we doing a tailgate? And like a few of us responded, and so we're into week two. And week two, we're kind of warming up to each other. Like we knew the, you know, we had the pleasantries out of the way, and we, we you know, had the opportunity just to like smooth into it a little more. So we each brought food, we kind of mingled a little, some of the people had family and friends, and I, you know, I would still think, I still think at that point, like, we really hadn't revealed who we, our personalities exactly, actually, like, everyone was really nice, like, the lady I met was nice, and then her friends were nice, and my friends are nice, so we're all, like, nice. And, and thankfully, when I was going to week two, I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I was like, okay, we're going to tailgate. But then by week three, I think we started getting more comfortable with each other, and like we started to know like each other's backstories and we started kind of having more fun together and laughing and joking. Um, and so like it started to become a joke. Like I had a friend, Sue, my son played against a sport, um, against a guy from local town in high school and we met through the summer and realized they were going to the same school. Also realized they were playing the same position. <laughs> and we're like, dang it, we really like each other. But honestly, it hasn't been a thing at all. It's been really great because we really like each other. But I could never get her to come to our freshman tailgate. So they're like, oh, Jennifer's imaginary friend, Sue. I'm like, she exists. Um, and so we just started to warm up and started having fun, like, joking with each other. And they're such a great group. Like, my dad was just part of the dad group. Like, they were just welcoming of everyone. By the, so last weekend was our last home tailgate. 
And we got to the point where it was really sad, like the season's over. So you think of like short eight weeks, we probably only spent at most 15 hours together, like how close we got. And we were open to revealing ourselves. and we got to know each other. And yesterday we had a birthday tailgate at a, at a restaurant because it was cold out. And it was a baby, <laughs> the youngest woman in the group. She was so happy because she's so much younger than us. Baby's birthday. <laughs> so we had a birthday tailgate and we went to the game and I, my like wrap up thought or my thought at that game was like, I'm just so grateful. I was I didn't give in to my initial tendency. Like, I don't want new friends. I'm just going to go sit with the people I knew because how much I would be missing out on friendship and fun. And the other thing is like, you know, by the end of the season, I was like game Jennifer and I don't really like game Jennifer because I'm not like, I'm not the yelling mom. I'm just kind of like mm, stewing mom occasionally. And I would like tell some of my friends and after the game yesterday, I texted them I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. Game Jennifer was there and I don't like her. And my son's a better person than game Jennifer. And she texted back like, we love Jennifer. Pre-game, post-game, game Jennifer. And it was so great to be in the opportunity to have, spend time with people who like, like you for who you are, understand where you're at. And it was just a really great experience. So I wanted to give you a couple tips when you're in the situation of, do I want to make friends? Do I want to put myself out there? Because let's be real, at the realist gray age, there's a lot of opportunities. You know, if you move, if your friends move away, if you have a new job, um, if you join a new club, like, do I, don't I want to make new friends? And my answer to you is yes. So let's hear some tips that you can do. One is bring a familiar face if you can. Like, drag a friend along or brought my dad along and my mom. You know, we had our friends from our other school. We decided to kind of hang together. So if you're in a new situation, and you're opening yourself up to make new friends, bring a friendly face. Number two is be open to it. You know, don't go in there with like, I'll talk to somebody if they come up to me or I'm not gonna put myself up. We'll see what happens. You know, and like the better Jennifer came on, like, hey, are you a freshman mom? Like I was open to making new friends and that's really what you need to be when you're in that situation, like open to making new friends. And that leads to number three, which is kind of like take the long view. And the long view might be a season, uh, it might be college, it might be for life, but take the long view of like really rewards for yourself that it's gonna happen. If you put yourself out there to make new friends, you know, how much I enjoy this season and how much I look forward to spending more time with these people. And I'm hopeful like they're even life friends because we had so much fun. Um, so take the long view, like it might be uncomfortable at first, but what you can bring to yourself and the people around you if you put yourself out there a little. And um, for this, like don't push it. You know, like if I was walking around, it's all like, hey, you wanna be my friend? You wanna be my friend? Sounds like a Dr. Seuss thing. But you know, you just, you um, are open to it. So you're not pushing it, but you're open to it. Be open to the situation of having new friends. Um, I think, you know, like I've talked about like old friends or gold or platinum or whatever, because they truly are. But I think new friends kind of can really enrich your life because it brings a whole different layer that you hadn't had before. And also new friends can, I think they keep you young because they're kind of like pushing you to do new things. So it keeps you young. So that's my other thought on new friends. Anyways, if you're liking the Fearless Gray Show, please make sure that you follow Baller Media and also feel free to go like my YouTube channel. If you miss my show, the majority of the shows go up on my YouTube channel, which I'll link below. And uh, I always stumble on this. Flamingo lingo of the day is seek new flamingos or seek new friends. Black on, and we'll see you tomorrow.